All right, we got something very exciting here. A whole video dedicated to Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, DS, and 3DS games. As you can see, I have a giant, giant pile of uh, loose DS games and stuff like that. But let's go through the box stuff first. Uh, we got here, what is this, Final Fantasy Explorers? I've never even heard of that game. I don't even know what it could even be about. We got Yoshi's Touch and Go here. It's pretty, pretty fun, but very challenging puzzle game there. I remember getting that back when I was a kid. It was pretty fun. And we got, ooh, Steel Diver. That, that was an early 3DS game, I believe. Yeah, DS, 3DS. Very popular systems. Really, really, really popular systems. Uh, I think they might have done better than the Nintendo's home systems, honestly. And yeah, there's a lot of just weird uh, games for it. A lot of kids games, a lot of licensed games, like this Transformers game here. Uh, there's really all sorts of stuff for the DS and the 3DS. I never really explored the library too much, but I would like to one day. I'd like to go get, get into the DS and all that. I think it'd be pretty fun. Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get on to the uh, premium stuff here. We got Mario Kart DS. Fantastic racing game right there. We got the uh, NES Metroid brought over to the Game Boy Advance. Super Mario Brothers 3. They did a lot of great ports for the uh, Game Boy Advance there. Sonic Advance 1 through 3. That one's Sonic Advance 3. Great game. And here's a really cool one. Old Game Boy Turtles game. Turtles 3 Radical Rescue. Man, I love these original Game Boy games. Castlevania Legends here, another great example. I absolutely love this stuff. It's such, it's so old school, dude. It's hard to hate it. Of course, Rhythm Heaven, and uh, now we dive into the uh, forbidden pile here. <laughs> will we hit trash or will we hit treasure? Disney's Bolt, I'm going to say, is trash. <laughs> I've never played it. Maybe you're a fan of Bolt, but I'm going to go ahead and assume it's not so hot. Yeah, yeah. This is always funny to me. Just randomly searching through this pile that's back here and seeing, well, is there anything good? Is it all all these movie games? What, what kind of stuff is this? Littlest Pest Shop. Oh, boy. But what's crazy is this stuff sold, man. I mean, dude, little kids and little girls... Little boys loved this shit. They loved it. They couldn't get enough of it. Like, you know what? Give me Cooking Mama straight to the veins. Oh, here's one that snuck in. Zelda Spirit Tracks. I, I must have forgot to set that one aside. Obviously a great one right there. Crazy how much his games have gone up. Garfield's Fun Fest. What else we got here? Nickelodeon. <laughs> A guitar hero. Yeah, they, they kind of just... This is the era when they just kind of started dumping everything they could on the DS. Imagine babies. Lego Star Wars. I mean, there was a there was a lot of DS games, man. The system had sold like crazy. So, uh... Well, SpongeBob SquarePants there. The DS especially. The Game Boy Advance wasn't too bad with the, uh licensed video games and stuff like that but man i feel like the ds just took it to the next level with uh all all the like ninjago <laughs> yeah ninjago there well this game's actually pretty good the turtles uh ds games are pretty fun yeah cooking mama what pampered pets too some of this shit i can't even believe exists but here it is right in front of me. La La Loopsy. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting when I went through this pile of games. But uh, it was definitely not Squinkies 2 and what is Mega Mind? Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> this is this is what I've come to expect when I see a oh what's this one? Super Mario 64 DS, but it's missing the uh Missing the label, but that's Super Mario 60, well, DS. Did they really call it Super Mario 64 DS? That's a kind of a weird name that I think about it, but whatever. Yeah, Ben 10, there we go. Yep, 
<laughs> Madagascar. <laughs> and Super Mario 64 DS. Yeah, they did call it that. Well, look at that. Anyway, guys, I want to say that if you're looking for any of this stuff, reach out to us on our Facebook page. Or you can always uh, hit us up on our new Discord. And why don't you go ahead and check out our Twitch streams, which we do every weekday from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., where you can see me play a bunch of the uh, classic games on the original hardware. We have a lot of fun. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time after I recover from seeing all these abominations here. Namco Museum, that's not too bad. All right, take it easy. <laughs>